Hi everyone, Jessica Jacobus here. We are back from our vacation and I have a really great story to share with all of you in regards to our fire relief fundraiser. Before we left, we raised $4,800 for a family and uh, while we were doing the fundraiser, I was busy trying to locate a family. I sent emails out, letters, phone calls to churches, organizations in California, uh, school districts, friends, family, anyone I could get in touch with. And the way God orchestrated this whole event was just amazing. Uh, in doing all of that, I received one family name back, just one. And uh, it was actually through a friend of my mother's who worked in the San Diego Unified School District and knew of a woman, a single mom with four kids who had lost her home, wasn't receiving uh, money from insurance or anything and basically had to start over from scratch. So I corresponded with her uh, before we went on vacation. She was under the understanding that we were coming to do a story for our church. She did not know we were giving her the money, so it was very, very fun to uh, surprise her with that. What happened the day of the fires, she was not evacuated on time. For some reason, the fire department was not able to get to her house. So she received a phone call from a neighbor about an hour after everyone else had been evacuated saying, you need to get out of there, the fires are getting close and the area's been evacuated. She didn't grab anything. Her youngest daughter did grab uh, all the pictures they had, uh, photo albums and such, just in case. So they left. And about an hour and a half later, a neighbor had gone back to the area to see what was left and they got the phone call that their home had been lost. So it was very hard and shocking for them. Something really amazing that happened when they returned to the home, there was you know, basically nothing left. And you'll see in the pictures, uh, the, the ruins. Um, against the chimney, there was a file cabinet. And in the file cabinet, obviously she had documents and important papers. And in the file cabinet, everything had been pretty much destroyed except for one card that had been given to her from a friend about a month ago. And on that card, even though it, most of it was burnt, but she could read the words, trust in the Lord and lean not on your own understanding. So following finding that card, she just felt that the Lord was telling her, don't worry about anything, I'm going to get you through this. And her strength and determination and her faith in the Lord is so inspiring. I mean, this woman has lost everything. She's lost her home. She has nothing to start over with. And yet she's still smiling and happy and thankful for everything that she has. And it's it's amazing. I it up here and I knew it had burned. And I said, well, one thing, I had worked so hard this summer on the weeds that I had all the weeds down. <laughs> and then I went back to work and you know, we had a little bit of rain, a little bit of sun, a little bit of rain. And they came back and I was so frustrated. And I said, well, at least the weeds will all be gone again. And we came back and they were still here. Like, oh, oh that my is gosh. <laughs> Well, there's something um, else. We, uh, we we didn't exactly tell you the whole story about why we're here. We did, um, in the midst of the fires and everything, I started a fundraiser through my church. And we raised money for, we wanted to find a family that had lost everything and they needed um, help to start over. And so I have a check for you for $4,800. And it's in your name and it's for you guys to use for whatever you need. I mean, whatever you need. Anything. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at this. Wow. 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 I can't imagine. I can't believe you don't even know me and you want to know. Wow. So that's and so your name you can go and cash it right now and um, <laughs> use it for just Please use it for whatever we did it. We did it th um, for three weeks. We fundraised through our church and our community, oh and then um, so. And then Paul, I you know I sent feelers out to, to, to you know try to find a family, and your name was the only name that I got for all the because I contacted churches and organizations and newspapers and everything, and your name was the only name that I got. And it's for me that was yeah. like God telling me wow. this is why you're doing this fundraiser is for oh this family. Gosh. So. He, he helped me very much <laughs> and let us know about the guys. <laughs> so I'm so sorry about your home, but hopefully, you know, this is an opportunity for me to bring in. And yes, what is it? I received an email from Charlene late last week. Um, I'm going to read it to you. I, it was addressed to Rob and myself as well as the Hope Chapel family, and I think you all really will appreciate this. Dear Jessica, Robert, and all of the wonderful church family from Hope Chapel, Kaneohe Bay, 
How can I ever thank you enough for the love you have shown to me and my family? We were so blown away with your incredibly generous gift. It's amazing to us that even though you had never met our family, you had the heart to care about us and be so giving. This whole experience has been and continues to be such an amazing journey. Not to say that it wasn't sad to lose the home I had grown up in and raise my four children, but God is so good and has been my rock through it all. He has a purpose in this, and I know his plan for mine and my children's lives is far better than anything I could come up with on my own. I know my security has to come from him, and he will never let me down. I believe his word in Jeremiah 29 11, where he says, I know the plans that I have for you, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to bring your, you a future and a hope. Then I saw the ruins of my house for the first time, and when I opened a char drawer to my file cabinet, there stood above all the rest of the ashes, a card, burnt but still readable, trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Yes, I have to say that God is at work in our lives and he knows what he's doing even if we do not yet. Without a doubt, the blessings of peace in the storm and the love that has been shown to us is far greater than any loss we have suffered. So thank you for being a part of our blessing and our journey as we walk through this new adventure in our lives. You are a precious gift to us, and I look forward to continuing your friendship with all of you. May he bless all of you with his best always. Take good care. With love and hugs, Charlene.